So this is a thing. Um, <laughs> Nick Wright is now going on a full bashing tour of Lamar Jackson after that Thursday night game. And I'll be honest with you. I really thought for what Lamar Jackson had with a very iffy offensive line, you only got two veterans on that offensive line in uh, Tyler Lindenbaum and Ronnie Stanley. Ronnie Stanley is not that good. Um, other than that, you have two guys trying to play left guard and right guard who are kind of younger, not really that good. You also got a right tackle you just drafted in the second round who is humongous but can't really move that fast. Going against arguably one of the best defensive lines in the league in the Kansas City Chiefs. I think for everything being considered and Lamar not having like the best weapons of all time, I think he did pretty good. Did he go back to his roots of being a running back? Yeah. But that's kind of the whole situation with playing Lamar Jackson. You don't want to play him because it's like playing a running back in the backfield. I think that the thing that the Ravens did really bad, and it wasn't really the fart here, was they tried to... They utilized Derrick Henry, right? But the problem with Derrick Henry is you have to run him 60 times a game in order to actually utilize him correctly. What you have to do is wear down a defense with Derrick Henry and then you're able to beat a team. You can't just give him five or six carries a game. But when your offensive line is dull crap, you can't keep running the football because you're gonna keep getting destroyed. Also a problem is, because your offensive line sucks, Lamar couldn't go under center as much, so he had to go in shotgun. When you're in shotgun, you're handing it off to Derrick Henry every play. Well, guess what? Those defensive linemen, those edge rushers, they get around and get to the running back. While under center, it's a lot easier for Derrick Henry to take off running. Now, I'm going to play this clip, and then I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on the whole situation. So just listen to... Listen to Nick Wright explain why Lamar Jackson is not scary to play against while Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, Herbert, Ian C.J. Stroud is for the Kansas City Chiefs. My fear doesn't lie to me. How I feel watching these games is a diehard Chiefs fan, someone that bets money on the games, grew up in Kansas City. So you can tell me it's unfair, this shouldn't be the ranking. But I've watched the Chiefs play Joe Burrow. I am more worried. I've watched the Chiefs play Josh Allen. I am more worried. You're going to hate this, Wilds, but Brew was with me. I've watched the Chiefs play Justin Herbert. I, I it, was yeah, more worried. Yeah, Herbert. The Chiefs haven't played C.J. Stroud yet. I think I'll be more worried. I'm not worried when I'm playing Lamar. I'm just not. And so, I no, I was not. I know he had almost 400 yards. I was not impressed. Do you want And to go I was first? not worried. No. I was very impressed because I think Lamar Jackson did what he should have, he should just accept doing. He lost weight this offseason, got skinnier, and said, you know what, I'm, I'm my best when I'm a running back. And that's what he did. He stopped trying to play quarterback. He stopped trying to pretend he's a quarterback. And I think that really benefiting him a lot there. Now, to Nick Wright's point, the Chiefs should always be scared of us. We are the biggest threat to the Chiefs. Joe Burrow is the biggest threat to pa uh, Patrick Mahomes, period. That's not a question on God's green earth, okay? I don't know if I agree with Justin Herbo. i rather see, if I'm a Chiefs fan, I'm not. But if I was, I'd rather play Justin Herbo than Lamar Jackson. That's not even a question. And outside of the weaponry that, you know, uh, Herbo has versus Lamar has, Lamar Jackson, again, he's a glorified running back. He lost weight this offseason to get faster. Like, the guy, while, yeah, he can miss some wide-open throws and he can be wildly inaccurate, literally had Zay Flowers wide open for a touchdown, then claimed he was trying to throw to Rashad Bateman. That's fantastic. Um, he can hit some throws, and he's, I would say, mm, Say 70% of the time he'll hit his mark, right? But again, his ability to rush, his ability to have 122 yards, and honestly, do it effortlessly. This guy is amazing to watch when it comes to athletic performance. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I agree that Herbo is that level. Now, 
let me talk about the other two quarterbacks. C.J. Stroud, 100% I'd be more worried than Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson's a choke. He might be really good, right? He might have a really good rushing upside, but look how that game ended. Zay Flowers wide open in the end zone. Isaiah Likely, that was just an amazing play by Lamar and Isaiah Likely. I see, again, got to give credit. 70% of the time, he hits his mark. But Zay Flowers, wide open touchdown, misses it completely. He's a playoff choke. Regular season, Lamar is amazing. He's like Peyton Manning. But playoffs, he's an absolute playoff choke. So Josh Allen, you should be scared of. Josh Allen, CJ Stroud, both of them can easily win in the playoffs. And Josh Allen has had his struggles sometimes. But for the most part, yeah, the, both of those guys are clutch. Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, and CJ Stroud, very, very clutch. Lamar Jackson and Herbo are playoff chokes. But for regular season-wise, I would say the only one I should you should be scared of, Chiefs, is Joe Burrow. Because I think you you have owned the Bills in the playoffs. Regular season, the Bills have actually owned you. But for the playoffs, you shouldn't be scared of Josh Allen as much. He is the second behind Joe Burrow, though. CJ Stroud, he's only gonna get better, but Again, I don't think you should be as scared. Herbo, I don't even know why he's on this list. Why is he on this list? I, I don't know why we were putting Herbo on this list. You want to put Baker Mayfield too? Let's just put Baker Mayfield as well. You want to put Deshaun Watson? Like, I, There's no point to put him on. Nobody's scared of playing Justin Herbert. I'm sorry. No one's scared of him. Maybe his own team is. Maybe his playoff chances are, but no one's scared of Justin Herbert. But for Joe Burrow, yes. Josh Allen, yes. And CJ Stroud, yes. Um, but again, like I said, you should be scared of playing Lamar. You 100% should be scared of playing Lamar when it comes to how good of an athlete he is and how he can change a game. But I, I again, I'm very impressed by his performance. I am. I thought he played pretty dang good football. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my cup of tea on this. I, I might have contradicted my point there and said that. Wait, hold up. Let me let me let me backtrack one second. Let me. I'm gonna put like I'm not gonna comment. The Chiefs should only truly be scared of Joe Burrow. But when they play Lamar, they should be scared. When they play Josh Allen, they should be scared. When they play C.J. Stroud, they should be scared. Hopefully that makes sense. I think I, I sometimes with my words, I'll say something and it'll contradict what I mean. And then I get the comment like, oh, you said I'm okay. So, truly, you should only be scared of Joe. But there's no way you can tell me that you shouldn't be scared. Anyone, and I don't care just the Chiefs, anyone playing the Ratbirds with Lamar Jackson, you have to be scared. He could turn a 4th and 13 play into a 25-yard run. Okay, he's like a glorified running back back there. So, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one.